What's good, my boy? You straight? Straight like this, man. Today, I'm going to give y'all boys the best possible settings in Model for 3 to help you improve your aim, free aim bot. Hear footsteps, increase visibility, increase your frame per second if you're on PC, and just overall increase your gameplay as a player, movement, whatever the case may be, all right? So watch the entire video. I'm going to give you guys some crucial settings that you need to change right now. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. Mine for three just dropped, and you're looking for the best settings to help you become a better player. Right off rip, increase your visibility, you know, hear footsteps, you know, just everything in the book. And I'm gonna try my best to give you guys every single possible setting that I have and the best settings that I think you should run to help you improve your gameplay. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. So, first, we're gonna go into our controller settings. This is just our controller settings. I play a controller, I don't do mouse and keyboard. If you're a mouse and keyboard player, I'm sorry, I don't have the best settings for you, but please. You know, try to find another video that gives you, you know, best keyboard and mouse settings, bro. I'm a, I'm a controller player. That's just what I do. I've always been controller on, on Call of Duty, so controller gang it is. All right. So first and foremost, I do want to, I want to show my controller. So I play on, I play with an aim controller. This is uh, one of my sponsors. An aim controller it has uh, paddles on the back. It comes with four paddles on the back, but I took two paddles off because I don't really use the other two. But it comes with paddles in the back, and it's a really extremely solid, solid controller. You see, you can customize it however you want, add paddles on the back. I, I'd be slaying with this controller, okay? So if you guys want the same controller that I got, like I said, it's an aim controller. One of my sponsors, you can use code RTG to get yourself an aim controller to get maybe 5 to 10% off. Sometimes we have the sales, and then maybe my code will be like 20% off, 30% off. You guys got to check it out. All right, so use code RTG at aimcontrollers.com. I have a link down in the description below if you guys want to copy yourself a new controller for Marvel 3 and slay out, okay? But like I said, I use aim controllers, extremely solid controllers, very, very well recommended all right all right so now with that being said my button layout uh i play on tactical flip that's what i do i just find find it easier to play on tactical flip um reason why i play on flipped is because uh well since i got i have a aim controller and aim controller you can fully customize the controller if you guys want like digital triggers or like trigger stops or like that you can definitely put that on your controller so you don't have to play flip but i mean i play with flipped anyway so basically what flipped is it flips like your your shoot button and like your throwing lethal button so if you play on flip you would throw your like lethal like grenade or whatever with r2 the right trigger or uh, uh, um and if you if you're like ads you ads with the left bumper l1 the left bumper instead of the uh left trigger the l2 all right so it just flips it and the reason why i like it flipped is because if you're just playing on a regular PS5 controller, uh, I might have a regular. Yeah, so if you're just playing on a regular PS5 controller, you look at the triggers on the back. You know, it takes time for you to actually, like, push down on the trigger all the way. So, it really is more like a, a input delay. You know what I'm saying? So, it, you got to wait till the trigger is already pushed down for it to actually do something. You get what I'm saying? But if you're just playing on flip, you're really just pressing the button. It's way more instant. You get what I'm saying? You have a faster reaction time with the buttons being pressed instead of just pushing down on the trigger. So that's why I play on. That's why I play on flip. No, you don't. So um, that's that. All right. Now, um, so also oh, uh, another thing, if you uh, I like I said, I play on tactical flip. But I mean, if you have paddles on the back, you don't have to. You can just play on default and just like you know, remap your buttons if you have uh, paddles on the back and stuff. I think you just remap your buttons to jump, crouch, or to whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, um, so now controller vibration, bro, turn it off, bro. I cannot stress this enough. If you are playing a FPS game, a shooter game, and your controller vibration is on, you are on crack. I don't care. I don't care. You are on crack, son. You are on heavy, heavy narcotics or something. Heavy. Turn off vibration, bro. It does not benefit you in any type of way. It might feel good. Cool, it might feel good in your hands, but it does not benefit you in any type of way. It's just gonna make your controller die faster, and um, it's also gonna throw your aim off. You imagine you're, you know you're trying to shoot somebody at a long distance, you're getting shot. Your controller is vibrating as you're trying to keep your you know ADS at a steady, steady you know aim. What you're trying to keep it steady, but your controller is steady shaking. It's gonna throw the analog stick off. Turn off vibration, bro. You might, you might feel weird at first, but just turn it off. I promise it does not take that long to get used to. It's just a vibration. That's all it is. All right. Uh, trigger effect. I don't play with any trigger effect. 
uh dead zone inputs i haven't really touched this honestly but if you want to copy mine by all means do your thing but I, like i said i have not touched this at all but what i do know uh dead stick uh dead zones uh if you're going to use your dead zone only move the right stick and the left stick don't truck don't touch anything else only touch the right stick minimum or left stick minimum and you can probably put that down to like maybe 10 5 some people actually put it all the way down but if you have stick drift on your controller listen if you have stick drift on your controller put it up if you don't have stick drift on your controller it's a brand new controller put it down as much as possible right and if you start to get stick drift and things like that try to put it up to keep your you know your uh, analog stick steady, all right? So I'm probably gonna keep mine at like maybe 10, or I'm gonna put it on eight, actually. I'm gonna put mine on eight, all right? So um, that's that on that um controller part. So now we're gonna go to the aiming section. Now this is the word, the sensitivity, things like that. Now first things first, I'm gonna say this disclaimer, listen, my sensitivity might not help you. Do not copy somebody's, uh, you know, set it to a T if it's not comfortable for you, cause you're, at the end of the day, you're the person that's playing the game. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you're the person that's playing this game. So please find a sensitivity that works for you. Now for me, 5.5 five works for me. Sometimes I go up to 6.6, six, 7.7. Six, seven, seven. If I'm sniping, I definitely go all the way up to 9.9. Nine. That's just me. But if I'm just using AR, you know, just trying to hit my shots, you know, be be real sticky with my aim, I use 5.5. Five, five. I don't miss. All right. So 5.5 so five, five is the way I go. Now, ADS sensitivity multiplier, this is a really important factor when it comes to sensitivity as well. I know people that play on like one, if your default is on one, I mean, if you're comfortable with that, like I said, cool. If you're comfortable with that and you like it, keep it at one. You gotta find what works for you. Now, ADS sensitivity multiplier is basically the sensitivity when you're ADSing, like when you're in your sights, you know what I'm saying? When you're in your sights, you're holding that left trigger or left bumper, you're in your sights and you're looking through your gun to aim and shoot at somebody. That's basically the sensitivity. So I have mine on 5.5 five and I want my sensitivity to slow down a little bit. So I put it on 0. 0.75. When I ADS, I want my sensitivity to slow down a little bit so I can stay on target and hit my shots. I'm telling you, I have mine on 0. 0.75. You can try 0. 0.85 or 0. 0.90. You can just put it down, um, you know, put it down as much as you can and try to find what's comfortable for you. So 0. 0.75 is my sweet spot. That's what I rock with, okay? Uh, sensitivity multiplier, I have not touched it. Vertical aim axis, have not touched it. All this is really default. Now, aim response curve type, I have mine on dynamic. So if you if you don't, if you have yours on maybe standard or linear, try dynamic. I find dynamic to be the best for me. I, I rock with dynamic. It makes me, it makes it feel like my analog stick is more free. You know, standard, I feel like it's, it just keeps my analog stick. I have to move it more in order to aim. You know what I'm saying? And dynamic, I could just, I could be real fine, like it's real fine with my aim. Like standard, it just like glitches, you know what I'm saying? But dynamic, dynamic is just way more smoother than me. I can't explain it too much, but dynamic is the way to go for me. All right, uh, like I said, the rest of the stuff is really um, default. Now down to aim assist, I play on Black Ops. Um, you can really find out which one works for you. I just play on Black Ops because, bro, if you're if you're a controller, you're playing Call of Duty, you're not abusing the aim assist. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, bro. Lock in. All right. Target aim assist on Black Ops and um, third person ADS correction assist. I just have that on uh, assist. I don't really touch that. I don't even know what that is, honestly, but you know, more like, all right. And uh, motion assist or aiming. I have not touched that. So all that is default. All right. Now on to the gameplay tab. Now here is the gameplay tab and there's some stuff in here that I want you guys to pay attention to as well. So obviously I got my automatic sprint, my automatic tax sprint on. Um, I feel like automatic tax sprint is really good, but in multiplayer, I will probably rep prefer automatic sprint. But I just I'm just gonna keep it on automatic tax sprint. But I know for Warzone, it was definitely like the move uh, back in uh, Warzone one and things like that. Automatic tax sprint was definitely the move. Okay, so um, auto move forward off tactical sprint behavior, double tap, ground and mantle on, airborne uh, mantle partial ground mantle off now slide dive behavior now here is one thing that i want you guys to pay attention to as well now in marvel 3 you can slide cancel movement is back you know what i'm saying you can slide cancel that was not in marvel 2 so if you guys want to you know uh slide cancel more efficiently and better and just increase your movement speed in in general change this to slide only it basically um removes the delay if you have it on if you have it on tap to dive or tap to slide it removed the delay because you know you still have the dive button um bind to whatever like whatever you have it bind to like your keyboard or mouse on my um 
on my controller, it's a uh, it's the right analog stick, or I can use a paddle if I want. So it makes it more fluent and more, you know, uh, it removes that delay on slide cancel. If you just put it on slide only, you won't have to worry about diving at all. Okay, so if if you're not slide canceling in Marvel Three in 2023, learn how to slide cancel, bro. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of tutorials out there. Listen, just learn how to slide cancel, please. Okay, learn how to slide cancel. If you want to get that moving up, learn how to slide cancel. All right. So like I said, slide dive behavior slide only uh plunger underwater trigger parachute auto deploy i got that off uh sprint to door bash on ledge climb behavior mantle only slide cancel sprint on uh ads behavior hold chain zoom activation all this is really default everything on this is really default um interact reload behavior now if i'm playing warzone i'm putting this on prioritize interact because all i got to do it's just tap um, tap square or X on Xbox just to pick up some over a chest instead of holding it. I don't want to hold it. If you hold, if you're holding, if you're playing Warzone and you're holding your buttons to open supply boxes and like, you know, like um, I think opening doors as well. You're tripping. That just takes way more time. You can just tap it. It's open. Simple as that. You go to the chest, tap tap a uh, tap square or tap X. It's open. So. If I'm playing Warzone, prior to interact, but since we're on multiplayer right now, we're talking about multiplayer, I'm gonna do tap to reload. So if I wanna pick up something from you, just about to hold uh, square. And um, I know if you have prior to interact, sometimes you'll missing tap uh, tap square, you'll like pick up a gun mid gunfight or something. That's why I took it off. So tap to reload is the way to go for multiplayer now. Like I said, if you're playing Warzone, prior to interact for sure. All right, uh, armor plate behavior, apply all. Like I said, this is, uh like really uh war zone stuff but armor plate um behavior apply all backpack control stick i got on stick um or you really find out which works for you direction the buttons or stick at that amount of stick um weapon switch on c4 uh grouped uh manual fire behavior press all this stuff is really default not too much to you know worry about here all this stuff is really default just find out where to do all right now on to the graphics tab now real quick disclaimer if you are on console, some of this stuff you're probably not going to see. But since I'm on PC, I'm going to give you guys uh, my best graphic settings that I use. If you want to copy mine, you can. Um, first and foremost, my PC is a my PC is a good PC. But it, it's not a, a beast PC like some of these streamers got. I feel like it's not necessary. But I mean, if you want, if you, I mean, if you want that, go for it. I'm not telling you what to do. But, you know, if you're trying to pull like, you know, like 300 frames per second, 500 frames per second, then by all means, you know, you got to have a beast PC for that. But I'm pulling like maybe probably 150, 120 in multiplayer, probably. Um, and I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it. I don't struggle with it. I find it perfectly fine. It works for me. And, um, you know, upgrading your PC is very expensive. <laughs> and your voice <boy> broke. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. So display mode always had this on full screen exclusive. My boy, full screen exclusive. Okay. No if ands, or buts about it. Full screen exclusive is going to give you the best uh, uh, frame per second as possible. Okay, now display monitor. Please just choose your, uh, your monitor. Um, display adapter. This is basically your graphics card. I have a RTX 3060 GeForce. And um, screen refresh rate. Always choose your highest screen refresh rate. Uh, whatever your monitor has. If your monitor has go from like 240. Choose 240. If your monitor just goes to 160. Choose that. Okay, but mine is a 144 hertz monitor, so I have mine 144. Uh, display resolution 1920 by 1080. I just have it on auto. Uh, aspect ratio automatic. Um, display gamma default brightness. I think I have mine on like 60, but you can really find out what works best for you. Find out what's comfortable for you, your monitor, things like that, your gaming space. Okay. Next, we got the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I have mine on On Plus Boo. Uh, I said Boo, but On Plus Boost. Um, I feel like it gives me uh, like you know less of a latency, honestly. Uh, you can really choose it from on or on plus boost, but if you it really depends on what you have on your NVIDIA um, Like your NVIDIA display settings whenever you go like to your desktop instead of it's like outside of the game You really check on there see what you got it on but um, your eco mode preset got all, all that was really on um, Excuse me default now for custom frame rate. I have mine on custom you can have yours on unlimited if you want to but I feel like it's not really worth it if you let's say you have you know a really good PC, you know what I mean. Um, and you're pulling like maybe 500 frames per second, and if you have yours on unlimited, you're gonna be getting like you know like I said 500 frames per second. But if your monitor does not, if your monitor can't showcase like more than let's say let's say you have like a 60 hertz monitor, 
you're really not going to be noticing that 500 frames per second because your monitor only shows like 60 hertz so you're basically just you're, you're basically just playing at 60 frames per second if your monitor only shows 60 hertz you get what i'm saying so i have mine on custom and then i have my gameplay custom frame rate limit to 150 because like i said mine um monitor is 144 hertz so i just have it to cap out at 150 so i won't like you know stress my pc out because i don't want to stress my pc out i love my pc i use it a lot all right um and then i have at the menu um 60 which you can see right here is right here stuck at 60 and then it, out of focus basically if you're like tabbed out on your desktop or little, at your browser or something like that it'll run at 30 frames in the background so that's basically what this one is the uh, out of focus all right so that's how i rock with my uh custom frame rate limit and uh my display set and things like that so let's go over to quality now boom we in the quality section like i said if you're on console some of this stuff you may not see but some of the stuff that you probably will see i'll try to get into it okay but um so my graphic preset i have on custom so my render resolution always have this at 100 always if you're if you're not on a really good pc i would recommend uh maybe put this down but it's your game's gonna look terrible bro so i'll just no matter what just keep it at 100 all right dynamic resolution i have that off upscaling sharpening i have it on fidelity fx cast it's basically the same thing this year you know um i find it to be really good um now people on console should be able to see this as well the upscaling and sharpening uh fidelity fx cat if you're on uh console playstation xbox whatever put it on fidelity and uh put your strength all the way to 100 or if you want to put it down a little bit to 90 80 you can definitely do that by keeping mine at 100 you should be able to see this on console okay now vram scale target have that on 90 variable rate shading i have it off uh texture resolution normal uh filter normal depth of field off anything that requires blur turn that thing off we don't do motion blur ski we mm -mm, anything with blur take it off G. just take it off all right detail quality level normal particle resolution very low bullet impacts on i want to see where my bullets is going um persistent effects i have that off shader quality low on demand texture streaming off if you're experiencing a lot of crashes things like that on, on console or even pc try to turn off uh your on-demand texture streaming just like usually the first thing i tell people and if it is off um i mean you can try to turn it on it might help you you know it, i feel like this use this utilizes like your internet speed and i don't want anything else utilizing my internet other than the game you get what i'm saying because i don't want to lag or anything like that so uh local texture streaming quality normal shadow quality low screen space shadows off ambient occlusion off screen space reflections off static reflection quality low Tessellation off, terrain memory max, volumetric quality low, deferred phase quality off, weather grid volumes off, and water quality off. All right, now on to the view tab. Now, this uh, field of view, honestly, it's up to you, but I would recommend putting on 120, anywhere from 110 to 120 is a sweet spot. Uh, I have mine on 120, and I believe, uh, I believe the higher you have your field of view, the more frames you should get. I believe that's how that works on PC, but they also have this on console too. So if you're on console, you need you need FOV, you need to change the FOV to 120, 110, simple as that, you know. Uh, ADS field of view affected, weapon field of view default. Um, actually, you can actually change this to uh, wide, either wide or narrow, but final works for you. I believe wide is the best. I like wide. I believe wide is the best. Pause. <laughs> Third person field of view, 90 vehicle field of view default world motion blur off weapon motion blur off film grain zero first person camera movement least third person camera movement least all right third person ads transition third person uh ads inspect to the camera all that is really up to you all that is default i have inverted flash bangs on because quite frankly y'all boys see the glasses i'm blind i get flash whole screen go white it's hurting my eyes i'm just gonna turn it on so my screen can go black okay i ain't got time to be to be getting flashbang I'm, mm -mm, nah mm -mm. So i'm just gonna have to turn that on all right but like i said bro anything dealing with motion blur bro turn it off you are playing a shooter game anything with blur is gonna it's it, it's not for your benefits it will never be for your benefits you are playing a first person shooter game anything that has blur is just gonna obscure your vision there's no reason to have blur turn it off all right so that's it for the graphic settings. Now we're gonna go on to the audio settings. Now, here's why I wanna give you guys like the best information I can possibly can with the audio settings, okay? So uh, so my audio mix, I'm like I said, I'm on PC, so I have PC speaker. Now my people on console, you're not gonna see PC speaker. You're gonna see headphone, 
bass boost and that's what you want to go with okay use that headphone bass boost and if you're on um pc you guys you guys should know about the you know the um what's it called the uh the the sound eq you guys should know about that if you guys don't i'll pro i'll probably link some down in the description below but basically you go to your sound settings right click it and you got to get like go to your advanced settings you got to turn on like uh loudness equalization you got to like check that out and um it really it really helps with footsteps in this game warzone whatever game you know what i'm saying it really helps all right so uh, audio makes pc speaker like i said if you're going console though headphone based boost um all this really set it up to how your device is now master volume is really up to you and how your headphones how loud your headphones really are okay so don't copy my master volume to a t but you can copy anything else uh gameplay music i don't want no type of music playing on my ear when i'm gunning these boys down zero dialogue about i have it on 30 you can put it up to 30 40 but you don't basically dialogue vibe is like call outs like enemy uav inbound things like that you know what i'm saying so you want it you want to be able to hear that stuff because it gives you information but you don't want it to like overpower other sounds you get what i'm saying so just make sure you have it to where you can hear it but don't have it overpower other sounds all right effects volume 100 if you want to hear those footsteps have it to 100 my boy have it to 100 my boy voice chat volume really uh honestly really up to you however you want um your voice chat volume to be how loud you want it to be cinematic music volume have it off like i said i don't want no music ski no <laughs> so uh the rest of the stuff is really up to you uh, voice chat if you want it on you definitely turn it on uh, approximately child all that good stuff um it really actually stuff about your device and you know microphone level all that good stuff now if you scroll all the way down one thing i do suggest that you turn on is reduce tinnitus sound turn that on all right like if somebody throws a concussion grenade flashback grenade uh you know it really like that little that uh that ringing noise it really reduces that all right so you can you can hear footsteps and stuff like that even if you're getting flashed done things like that so reduce tinnitus sound have that on all right um like i said the rest of the stuff is really up to you i got my hit marker sound effects on classic because i'm a classic man i'm a man of nostalgia you feel me all right so now real quick before we move on to the next section right i want to show you guys um like my my headphones you guys are looking to buy some new headphones whatever the case may be allow me to help you okay my headphones these are astro a40s i had them for years they're extremely good headphones but they are on the expensive side they're like maybe I think I paid like 280 like with tax and stuff like that, like maybe 280 so close to $300 for these. It came with a mix amp, and I'm running a two PC, I'm running a dual PC setup, and my Astro A40s are, I, I love you things, all right? They've been in the game with me forever, but they are on the expensive side. Now, if you're not if you're not trying to find something uh, like really heavy on the expensive side, and you're looking for something a little more on the cheaper side, something that's more affordable to you, don't worry, I got you. Now, one thing that's taking over right now, our earbuds bro i have some earbuds that i got from amazon um they were on sale i got it for like maybe 40 dollars i think these are some um some earbuds they're called kz something i'll have them linked in the description below Hold on, let me zoom in on this i have them linked in the description below i use these for warzone um uh, most of the time you guys probably see me using my videos but these had these earbuds are extremely good earbuds are really taking over the scene i'm not i'm not gonna cap with you bro like i said these are like maybe 40 30 dollars and they're extremely good sometimes some people don't want like a big headset like mine sitting on top of their head while they're gaming you know you probably you just don't want to feel the weight on your head and um it covers your ear just it blocks out outside noise these block out outside noise too so be careful you you plug these things in your ear man you can't hear nothing but the game word but they, they sound so clear the bass is so clear these these earbuds are 100 percent like big recommend all right so i have a link down in the description below uh, amazon link to where i got them so if you guys want to copy yourself some for yourself you can definitely do that all right so that's uh those are two options that i can give you for like really good you know headsets with microphones this has a microphone as well so if you guys don't have a microphone you can definitely use this as a mic as well but those are my two recommendations when it comes to headset and help you with audio and hearing footsteps okay so uh that's good that's it on the audio settings now we're going to go to the interface settings now all this stuff honestly really is preference based but one thing i want to do get into is the color customization okay now this is this this i have the same setting from um model for two so if you go to your color customization settings i changed the neutral to uh like a purple color because back um when model for two and warzone 2 first dropped if i would ping something you couldn't see it 
which is the reason why I changed to neutral. So I'm not really sure how it is on this game, to be honest. I just kept it like that with the um with the purple. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys uh, some color filter settings to give you guys better visibility when it comes to Modern Warfare 3. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to color filter, we're gonna choose filter two, then we're gonna filter color filter target, we'll put on both, right? And then the intensity, we're gonna put it on 100 for both of them, put both of them on 100, both of them. All right, and it's gonna help you increase your visibility. You're gonna see a lot more color, make your game more vibrant. You're gonna see a lot more people, okay? So that is uh, the best color customization and in, uh, interface settings. Now, one thing about interface as well, I, my HUD, my HUD bounds, I have this in, so I won't spend more time looking at the top of my screen. I can just move my eyes instead of move my head to look to look at the like mini map at the top left because I have bad eyes, bro. I can't see. You got I wear glasses for a reason, y'all. I'm telling y'all boys. I'm blind, y'all. <laughs> Word. All right. So uh, I have my I have my HUD, you know, closed in a little bit so I don't have you know strain to look all the way on top of my monitor to look at the mini map or anything like that. So I have mine in a little bit. Now on console, I don't believe they have this HUD bound setting to be honest. But if they do, you can definitely change it if you want. Um, now, mini map shape always keep that on a square circle. You see more when you have a square mini map shape. If you have it on cir uh, circle, you're not going to see as much as you would with square. So if yours is on circle, change it to square. Okay. Uh, mini map rotation on horizontal compass on crosshairs on. Um, if you want to get more in depth with your crosshair, I have the center dot on and I have my center dot scale to larger. You can definitely do that. Um, uh, hit marker visuals on damage based hit markers on. And um, like I said, the rest of the stuff is really up to you. Uh, for PC, you might see this telemetry uh, tab right here. I, think, I know they got one on console, but I think the only thing they got on console is like the time clock. But on PC, you can see way more. You can like it, It's basically the stuff up here at the top left. You see FPS and latency. Uh, if you want your FPS counter, you can turn it on. Uh, you got the latency counter up, which is basically your ping. Uh, pack the laws. If you want to check the, the temperature on your graphics card, things like that, you can definitely turn it on. If you want the clock, you can turn it on too. All right, but... That's uh that's um basically it for that man. That's the telemetry. Everything else is really up to you, honestly. And that's basically really it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the best possible settings in Modern Warfare 3 to help you guys improve your movement, improve your accuracy, improve your aim, get that God aim, that aim by aim. You feel me? Your best audio settings to help you guys hear footsteps across the map. And I give you guys some recommendations on some new headsets. If you guys are looking for a new headset or even some earbuds, if you want someone on a little cheaper side. Um, and then you got, I, I gave you guys the best graphic settings to help you guys, you know, get that better visibility. You can see people, your game isn't, you know, running like crazy, you're skipping frames. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's basically really it, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want some more content, please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys, what more do you guys want to see from me? You guys want some tips and tricks? You guys want, you know, more, more gold camo videos? We're gonna get that mastery camo. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna give you guys some tips and tricks. We're gonna try ours with Marvel Three. We're gonna put in that work. All right, I love you guys. Please stay blessed, stay great, but great. I love y'all boys. Stay blessed, stay great. It's your boy, really great. I love y'all boys. Stay blessed, stay great, but great. I see y'all boys next video, baby. Woo!